So in this lecture, we are going to define some very important uh, concepts. First, let me write the definition of element. What is meant by an element of a set? So if A is a set, then every member of that set of that set A is called what is called element of that set. So what is an example? I will write a set A and suppose I write the elements ABC. A, so what are ABC called? They are called elements of the set. And usually if we are writing alphabets inside a set, we will write them in small script. The second important definition that we must know is what is meant by a empty set what is an empty set a set will be called as empty set if it is ha if it has no elements okay if a set has no elements then it is called empty set If I have two sets with me and if I want to find the union of two sets, so what is definition of union of two sets? So A and B are sets. So let me write union of two sets first. Union of two sets. So if A and B are two sets, then A union B, I'm going to denote it like this, A union B, is what I'm going to collect all the people X such that X is either in A or the element X is in what or the element X is in B. So this is the definition of what this is the definition of union of two sets. So if I have if I draw the picture, this picture is called Venn diagram. I have two sets A and B. OK, and I want to sketch or I want to shade the union of these two sets. So what is the shaded part? What will I shade if I have uh, want to shade A union B? The shaded region will be everything. So I will write, I will shade all A, everything of A and everything of B, the common part of A and B also will be shaded. Okay. What is the intersection of two sets? So if I have A and B as uh, you as two sets, then a inter this is the symbol for a intersection b then the definition of a intersection b will be i will collect all such x such that x belongs to a also and x belongs to what x belongs to b also so when i draw the picture of this the picture of this will be i'm going to denote this by a i'm going to denote this set by b okay and i want to shade the region which is representing what which is representing a intersection b and that shaded region will be nothing but the the common region between both of them okay now we we all know that all these sets a and b and whatever we are working they are working in some larger set that set is called as what that set is called as the universal set okay this is the universal set and these all sets are inside this universal set capital X. OK, now what I want to define is I want to define what is meant by a complement of a set. What is a complement of a set? So what I will do, I will take a set A. OK, and that set A is sitting uh, is a set in uh, in the universal set X. So I will draw the picture here like this. So this is the big universal set which contains all the sets and then I have what I have a inside that set. OK, and what I want to write is the definition of what the definition of a complement. So what is a complement? I'm going to collect all such people X so that this is the reason I'm drawing these dots. These dots are elements or uh, which are what these are outside the set a. So what is a complement? A complement is collection of all X such that the X element should not belong to A. It should not be inside A. So all the elements which are outside the set 
are nothing but the part of what they are part of the complement of that set now we will define what is uh, meant by difference of two sets okay so let me write the definition of difference of two sets so i will take two sets a and b a and b are, un are sets in the universal set x okay so i will draw the picture first so that the idea will be clear to you so this is the universal set x and uh, these are the two sets suppose this is the set a and this is the set b okay and what i want to do is i want to take the difference of two sets now what is difference of two sets suppose i want to calculate a minus b what is meaning of a minus b now pay attention what is a minus b i am going to look at only those elements x so what is this called this is the collection of all x such that x should be an element of a and x should not be an element of b so i want to collect all such people which are inside a but they should not be inside b so the region that i am going to shade is all the people in a will be inside that region but if you see the this person if you see this person that i am showing by dot suppose that element is suppose i am going to denote by a okay what is the property of this a this a is sitting inside the set a also and this a is sitting inside the set b also so we don't want such people which type of people we want we want people which are sitting in a but they should not be in b so i so it means that this common region i will not be able to shade okay so this shaded region that you see now that shaded region is nothing but what it is a minus b means a minus b is written here now if i want to shade what is b minus a what will be b minus a means i'm going to collect all such people x such that x will belong to b and x does not belong to a in that case if i want to shade such people i'm going to suppose i'm going to shade it by vertical lines let me shade it by vertical lines okay so this these are all the people i'm going to shade them by vertical lines this this shaded region is denoting which type of set it is denoting the set b minus a okay and what is this this region the in, inside region what is this region the lines that i'm drawing horizontal lines what is that particular region that is a intersection b okay that is a intersection b okay and all the three shadings combined together when i have all the three types of shadings let me draw it like this you have this type of shading also you have this type of shading also and you have this type of shading all the three combined shading all that will is nothing but what it is a union b so this is the thing so now let us define what is meant by subset of a set so if a and b are two sets then a is said to be subset of b so a is said to be subset of b if every element of a is also element of b this is the definition of what subset and it is denoted by what it is denoted by a subset b like this a this notation and then b then i will say a subset of b pictorically by picture we mean to say that a is there and every element of a is sitting inside the set b so a is completely sitting inside b okay for example what is uh, the simplest example you can see you can all know that pune is sitting this pune city is a city which is 
completely inside what it is completely inside maharashtra so pune is a subset of maharashtra okay but maharashtra is completely sitting inside what maharashtra is sitting inside india this means pune is a subset of maharashtra is a subset of what is a subset of india this is nothing but simple definition of of subset means if i take any person who is in pune obviously that person is also in what that person is also in maharashtra right you just have to do and just mute your uh, this you just have to remove your boundaries of pune so if that person x is in pune he is obviously in what he is obviously in maharashtra okay so this is the definition of subset i'll go to the definition of subset again a is a said to be a subset of b if every element of a if you pick any element of a then it is also an element of what it is also an element of b so this is the definition of a subset of b now suppose you are given two sets okay and you want to show that two sets are what these two sets are equal how will you show that the two sets are equal so we will use the definition of subset we will say that if i want the two sets to be equal first condition the first set a must be inside b and second condition the set b should also be inside set a if a is sitting inside b and b is sitting inside a if you come across this situation then we will declare that the two sets given to me are actually what they are actually equal so this is the definition of what this is the definition of equality of two sets so when are two sets said to be equal equality of two sets so a and b are said to be equal if there are two conditions what are the two conditions first a should be subset of b and b should also be a subset of a if you can show that one is the subset of other and the other person is also subset of the first one then you will declare that the two sets given to us are actually what they are actually equal okay